London, a city steeped in history and mystique, harbors its fair share of eerie tales and urban legends. From shadowy figures leaping across rooftops to blood-sucking creatures lurking in its cemeteries, the British capital has woven a tapestry of spine-tingling stories that have endured for generations. In this video, we delve into the chilling world of three of London's urban legends, unearthing the mysteries that still haunt its dark alleys and ancient landmarks. Spring-Heeled Jack, London's Mysterious Menace In the early 19th century, Londoners were gripped by the terror of Spring-Heeled Jack. This mysterious figure, described as a tall, thin man with clawed hands and glowing red eyes, became infamous for his inexplicable abilities to leap incredible distances and heights. Spring-Heeled Jack was often associated with nocturnal attacks on unsuspecting victims, particularly women. One of the earliest reported encounters with Spring-Heeled Jack occurred in 1837 when a servant named Mary Stevens was walking through Clapham Common at night. She claimed that a mysterious figure leaped out at her from the shadows, grabbed her, and proceeded to breathe blue flames into her face. The shock caused her to fall unconscious. Similar reports soon followed, describing similar attacks. As the legend of Spring-Heeled Jack grew, so did the hysteria surrounding him. People reported sightings across London, and newspapers of the time were filled with sensational stories about this demonic entity. Vigilante groups were even formed to hunt him down. One of the most intriguing aspects of the legend was the speculation about who or what Spring-Heeled Jack really was. Some believed he was an otherworldly creature or even a demon, given his supernatural abilities and fiery breath. Others thought he might be a skilled acrobat or an early form of urban legend. Regardless, the panic and fear he inspired were very real. Over time, reports of Spring-Heeled Jack subsided, and he faded into the realm of urban folklore. Some have suggested that the legend was fueled by a combination of genuine encounters with a mysterious, agile figure and the exaggerations of a panicked public. To this day, the true identity and nature of Spring-Heeled Jack remain enigmatic. The Highgate Vampire, London's Gothic Horror In the late 1960s and early 1970s, Londoners were captivated by the eerie legend of the Highgate Vampire. Highgate Cemetery, a sprawling and overgrown Victorian burial ground in North London, was the focal point of this chilling tale. Reports began to surface of a malevolent vampire haunting the cemetery's dark corners. Witnesses described a tall figure with long, flowing hair, glowing red eyes, and sharp fangs. These sightings, often accompanied by strange sounds and unearthly apparitions, fueled rumors of a vampire lurking among the tombstones. Ghost hunters and curious individuals flocked to Highgate Cemetery in search of the supernatural. Some even claimed to have captured photographs and recordings of the vampire's presence. Animal mutilations, attributed to the vampire's thirst for blood, added to the aura of horror. As the legend grew, so did the hysteria surrounding the cemetery. Local authorities were inundated with trespassers and amateur vampire hunters. To address the situation, the cemetery was eventually closed to the public. A media frenzy further propelled the legend into public consciousness. In the end, the Highgate vampire legend remains shrouded in mystery and controversy. Some dismiss it as a hoax or the result of overactive imaginations, while others believe that something genuinely inexplicable occurred within the eerie confines of Highgate Cemetery. To this day, it remains one of London's most enduring and eerie urban legends. The Black Dog of Newgate, London's ominous omen, Newgate Prison, one of London's most notorious penal institutions, had a dark history filled with executions, harsh conditions, and despair. Adding to the prison's macabre reputation was the legend of the Black Dog of Newgate. This spectral canine, described as a large, ghostly black dog with fiery red eyes, was said to haunt the vicinity of Newgate Prison. Its presence was believed to foretell death and tragedy. Those who claimed to have seen the phantom dog often met grim fates shortly afterward. Reports of the black dog's appearances were accompanied by strange occurrences and a general sense of foreboding. As prisoners awaited execution, they would sometimes hear the mournful howling of the ghostly hound. Guards and staff members at the prison also spoke of eerie encounters with the phantom dog. The legend of the Black Dog of Newgate added an extra layer of dread to an already grim and foreboding institution. It became a chilling omen of the fate that awaited many within the prison's walls. While the precise origins of the legend remain unclear, it is a testament to the enduring fascination with the supernatural and the mysterious in London's history. Whether the Black Dog was a product of superstition or something more, its legacy lives on as a haunting reminder of the darker aspects of the city's past. As we conclude our journey through London's urban legends, we leave you with a question, do these tales reveal hidden truths or are they merely products of overactive imaginations? Whether they send shivers down your spine or pique your curiosity, one thing is certain, London's enigmatic legends continue to weave their web of mystery, ensuring that the city's dark corners remain eternally captivating. 